Hello everyone, this is Orlando from DroidDog.com. I was, uh, I had two apps that I wanted to go ahead and showcase today. Um, I know Carlos Graves already did Chomp SMS, so I'm going to go ahead and show you Handsent SMS is what I'm using on my Nexus One right now. So let's get started. Alright, we'll go to the settings. Alright, sort of like uh, Chomp, another one. Uh, Handsent is also you know fully customizable you have uh, everything from auto rotate to your conversation settings colors uh, uh, just about everything you can think of really whether or not when you hit the enter button if it's gonna send or if you have to hit alt and enter and um, on the Nexus one you're not so much gonna use that one that's more for your G1 users and your click users and anybody else with a, a physical keyboard but uh, with all that being said, um, we'll continue on with this. Pop-up settings, alright, this lets you know what happens when somebody actually sends you a text message, alright. You can pick where you want to blur the background, auto open, once again just another fully customizable, uh, uh, customizable messaging service, alright. Um, let's see. All the different notification settings. This is how I have mine set up. As you can see, you have your little notification and notification bar. Um, you get your your sounds, your vibrate, um, your LED. You can pick which color you want it to be, and it uh, it's hard to see it when you do the actual test. Let's see. Let's say I wanted to blink green. I think when you do the uh, test notification, it always comes up this white color. But when you um, when you actually go ahead and um, set it, it will um, it, it'll do it for you. It'll you know flash the right color, flash frequency. All right, you can say whether you want it to blink fast, slow, normal. You can have a custom flash, which I guess you can, you know, dash it SOS if you would like. Um, oh, there you go. Time on, time off. All right. Keep on on normal. Uh, you can enable reminders. You know, you set the number of reminders, how many times you want it to let you know that you have a message that you're trying to ignore or that you forgot about. Um, reminder interval. All right sound on call so that means it's gonna make a sound when you're on the call if you want it to vibrate when you're on the call you have a bunch of different options and that's just for your notifications and I'm not gonna bog you down with all of the different uh, things that they have going on with it this is what it looks like with absolutely no calls coming in uh, no messages you can I think I have it on hero theme you can switch to iPhone theme if you would like if that's more of you choosing you can pick light themes okay so you can take your pick all right I like the dark one on the Nexus it just makes everything else pop oh speaking of which we got a message coming in um let's get back oh and another one thank you all for letting me know all right so there you go so it comes in you have your pictures and you can push on it and just like in the regular uh, messaging service it comes up shows you everything that you can do you can call you can check the contact you can use SMS and I have that set as my default so the regular messaging isn't up you can email Facebook alright all from your uh, SMS service so I just wanted to uh, give you a quick overview of Handsent SMS all right now oh, focus focus all right now I want to take a look at Opera mini okay I've been using this browser for the past uh, I guess week week and a half however long it's been out and I really like it all right it has the uh, what they call I guess your speed dial settings where you have all your visual bookmarks here and as you can see I have phone dog drawer dog I try my best um, and a bunch of other Android pages, Form Spring, my blogger account, and it opens up 
pretty well right now I'm over uh, 3G so you can see how long it takes there we go alright renders the page it's up tap to zoom and this thing has been working pretty awesome uh, no multi touch in it as of now I'm not sure if they're gonna add it later but um, it really renders pages quite nice it's uh, it's easy to use okay and let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and I've really enjoyed uh, using this and as you can see it pops it up right to whatever view size that uh, that you needed you hit oh snaps if you hit your settings button these are the options that you get you can refresh and you can uh, zoom back out okay I haven't set on full page mode when you hit this this is pretty cool you actually get a uh, tab so I can open up a couple of different uh, pages let's see see what's going on at the phone dog right now see what they're doing and as you can see page is up ready to go and let's say I need to go check on something else hit my menu hit my little pages button and look I have phone dog here I have droid dog if I need to jump back to that phone dog I need to open something else it's all there okay so that's uh, Opera Mini um, let's check the settings you hit the little wrench over here alright and in your settings you can adjust your bookmarks you can look at your history downloads pages you have saved settings this is the settings menu for right now alright so whether or not you load images with type quality alright and all that I'm sure affects the speed some way or another like I said I have full screen mode on and uh, opera link I have that off and that's where you can actually um, connect your opera desktop browser with your uh, mobile browser and you stay connected completely pretty cool um, I'm not sure what these advanced settings are I'm not that advanced I guess so we'll get off of that but um, it's been a pretty good browser for me I've enjoyed it like I said it's quick um, and I know some folks have you know whatever kind of thoughts about opera so I would say give it a try you can go to droiddog.com and go to our new app store and you can go through there and you can find uh, Handsense. I'm not sure if Opera is in the uh, Droid Dog app store. I didn't get a chance to look but if it's not you can also find it in the market there alright and both of these are there and uh, go try them out and enjoy if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment section and check out droiddog.com till then um, you have a good one. Talk to you later.